Uh, hi everybody. My topic for today's discussion is theories of FDI. Uh, these are also called as theories of international investment. Uh, these theories discuss why uh, the companies invest in foreign countries or why there is FDI. The first theory we have is capital arbitrage theory. As every business works for profit, in the same way, companies also invest in other countries or the FDI takes place because of the rates of return on the capital across the countries are different. So they want to take advantage of higher returns in the foreign countries and that's why they make foreign investments. The second theory is the market imperfections theory. According to this theory, there are certain market imperfections. That is markets are not perfect. Why markets are not perfect? Because of government policies which include import restrictions, quotas, tariffs and non-tariff barriers, incentives to exports, tax regime and so on. Now, what do companies do in order to avoid these restrictions? They will invest in the foreign country, so they need not export their goods to that country, pay high tariffs. We have the good example of automobile sector. Automobile sector in Japan was becoming uncompetitive because of high tariffs in Europe. And what did these automobile companies then do? They started with investments in Europe. They started setting up their production plants in Europe so that they need not export their automobiles to the foreign countries. Then the second theory is internalization theory. According to this theory, the company will have some know-how, technology, skills, trade secrets, which it doesn't want to share with other companies. So it doesn't want to uh, give licensing or franchising to others. It itself want to go to the foreign country and set up its production facility or set up its unit over there, maybe branch or subsidiary. We have the good example of Coke, which has got its secret formula, which it doesn't want to share with other countries. And that's the reason the Coke uh, comes, uh, comes in the concentrated form and everywhere it is uh, filled, it is bottled in the foreign countries. The next theory we have is monopolistic advantage theory. The big firms, they enjoy certain monopoly power. They have certain advantages also. Like we have the example of Apple. Apple has got certain advantages and it wants to take uh, make use of these advantages. For this purpose, uh, it sets up its own plants in different countries, production facilities, its own stores. It doesn't want to share these advantages with the other firms. And the next one is international product life cycle theory. The international product life cycle theory explains why the product location changes. Uh, I have got one uh, video on this and I'll be sharing the link for the video on international product life cycle theory in the description. Uh, the details you can watch uh, in that video, but here I would like to say that in the introduction stage, the product is produced in the home country. Companies prefer to produce it in the home country because they can make improvements if there are any problems and they know the domestic demand, so they don't want to take any chances. And in the growth stage, there is competition 
the companies want to avail the benefits of cheap labor available abroad or maybe the cheaper capital available or maybe the huge market size so they want to take this advantage and set up their foreign units and the next one is the eclectic theory it is also known as oli paradigm now what is oli it stands for uh, it is an acronym and it has got the factors which shows uh, which helps in the fdi it is a blend of macroeconomic theory of international trade which the, the eclectic theory calls as l and the microeconomic theories of the firm they are o and i now o is ownership factor uh, specific advantages possessed by the firm which enables it to reap profits from the overseas investments and then l is the location factor A certain location has got certain advantages and companies want to take this advantages like we have economies of scale and economies of scale are of two kinds internal and external economies external economies are based on the location and that is the reason large number of companies producing similar units get located in certain place like switzerland is famous for watches in india surat is famous for diamond polishing maharashtra and gujarat for textiles this all this forms they get certain advantages and that is because of the location maybe it may be an international attractive international investment destination and the internalization factor this is i factor so o l and i so all have come here international internalization factor we have done one more uh, theory uh, yeah internalization theory that is the firm wants to the firm does not want to share certain secrets it has got certain know how certain technology skills or trade secrets which it doesn't want to share it with others and if it shares with others its monopoly will be lost or the advantage which it has got will be lost and that is the internalization factor it wants to keep its know how within the organization rather than sharing with uh, others so these are the uh, theories of uh, fdi uh, my earlier video talks about what is fdi and what is fpi and the different types of fdis i will be sharing the link in this you can watch it for that part uh thanks uh, thanks all for uh watching in case you have any doubts any questions or uh, any comments uh you can put it in the comments uh, section